Hey guys, in this video, I will show you how you can do keyframes in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. It's actually not that complicated. You just have to look at one thing. So we're here in Final Cut Pro. I have one of those nice backgrounds that they added into the program. And also I have one of those objects, that's this mouse. If you have an object in and yet say you wanna change the size or something, you can always click here in the frame. And then for example, with your pencil, even you can make it smaller, change the position on something. And let's say we wanna create an animation from here and then in the end of the video to go here. I show you now how this works. By the way, all of those settings with the size, you can also do in the inspector. If you come to the inspector and you come to this middle thing here, you will see here scale and position and you can also change it there. So you don't have to do it in the viewer. I just like to use my pencil and also do it in the viewer. Oh, and by the way, this happens all the time. I cannot double click here. <laughs> you have to click edit to come back. I always click here for go back because on the iPad, every time when you click back, you go just one step back and not completely out of your timeline on your project. How does it work? The animations, you have an icon here, it's called animations. So you select, your, you click in this mode, now you're in the animation mode and you can click your clip. So when I click my clip, you will see now here this dotted line. The way you add keyframes is here with this one on the bottom right, where you always have your actions for your fingers. So you can do this straight on your hand. I use the magic keyboard also to show you my mouse so I, you see where I click. And you place the cursor where you wanna start the animation. So let's say we want to start it there. And now comes the important part. By default, here it says format opacity. So if we would start now creating keyframes, we would actually create keyframes for the opacity. So we would make it visible or not visible. So if you want to change our positioning, we actually have to come in here and then now choose positioning. Or if you're not sure, if you want to do scaling and positioning at the same time, I would just, I'd say just go for all. In that case now, I would just go with positioning. And so now we can add the first keyframe. So we have a keyframe here. And so now let's say I take my play hat and somewhere here, I want that my mouse, and I can now click in the viewer, my mouse should come in here. That's it. We have our two keyframes. So if I come back in here and I hit, let's click this so I can see this, and I hit play, I have my animation. And this is how you do simple keyframes in Final Cut Pro for the iPad. If you are interested in learning Final Cut Pro for the iPad, we are working on a Final Cut Pro masterclass from beginner to pro so that you learn everything that is important to know on the iPad so you can edit on the iPad, make professional videos. We have a waiting list right now. And if you want to get access with 50% off when we launch, we will give this only to the people who are on the waiting list. Just click on the link below this video. If the launch is already done, you will find a link to the masterclass. I hope you learned something. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bam bang gong. I'm Daniel and on this channel, it's all about filmmaking on the iPad. We have a lot of DaVinci Resolve videos. So if you wanna learn color grading with DaVinci Resolve, also look into them. And we have now also Final Cut Pro and we will see us in the next video. I'm Daniel, bye.